this is a super fat and like drippy, so it's gonna be pretty hard to get these like the lines I'm looking for. Okay, yeah, so, so that's very fat. cans and then use this fine liner tool that I created over here um, to give that comic book effect. Um, all of the panels I've been throwing up recently have been out of the comic I've been working on. It's like a punk Germanic comic, um, kind of like all about like uh, the perception of punks in public space. Um, and so this one is just one of the mini panels out of that larger ca comic. I think the comic's probably about like this big. This is the literal shape of the panel within the comic. Um, normally I'll work on like rectangles and stuff, but I think this would be kind of fun to try out. It's hard though, because like when I'm trying to spray it to color it in, it's either like you can see through it a little bit or I do way too much paint. It's just dripping all the way down. You gotta keep in mind pressure, speed, and distance from the wall. All right, since it's dripping so much, this guy's just gonna be wearing mascara and he's crying in a bad day. It's hard also because the texture of the wall. Yeah, this is um, just normal white house paint. Um, most people use like a thin version for buff, but I kind of just apply straight to get the most coverage, especially on like rocky textures like this. What is buff? Um, buff is what you'd like put down prior to painting just so you can get like a fresh slate under. I like having like a lot of like things going on in the background, so like um, generally like when there's like other graffiti popping through on the sides and stuff. Like I'm a big fan of that kind of stuff. Thank you. There was already stuff over it. This black, this black and white though. Yeah. here a few months ago and you can kind of see like the ridges of where mine used to end um, and like I think that's something especially in the yards that I got very used to is the idea that like it's kind of like a big aspect of graffiti is that like none of this is permanent you know whether the city comes and busts over it themselves or whether another artist gets to it the amount of times I would come back like literally later in the same day just to try to show somebody my piece and it would already be covered I think if you can find some appreciation for the impermanence of it um, it becomes like a lot easier and also like you can make this more lighthearted. you know it's really easy to get sucked into a piece but knowing that this won't be here forever kind of takes a little bit of the weight off. 